My name is Leland Sawyer. And I'm Gina Sawyer. We are missionaries in Mbali, Uganda. Our focus is discipling leaders here in Uganda so they can multiply spiritually mature disciples in their communities. Discipleship is all about life transformation. It starts from the cross of our Savior, and it's a journey each of us embarks upon to form our lives around Jesus. As we grow more into His image, each of us is called to make disciples who make disciples. We want to introduce you to some of our friends that we have been discipling over the past six years. They want to share with you how the discipleship journey has changed their lives, their families, and their communities, and how you can join them as they continue making disciples of Jesus Christ. These are some of our friends. This discipleship has impacted me in my life by where I can sit and read the Bible and understand, and where I can understand, I can help others, and I can even encourage others, and I can even share and help others in their ways of focusing on Jesus Christ. Before I came to discipleship, I did not know that there are some the, some stages of spiritual growth. And now, I realized that I was an infant spiritually. And at the moment, after discipleship, I'm now a spiritual adult. Before, I was not even forgiving people. And she has now given me a desire to read the Bible all the time also to share with others the word of God. By that time, I didn't know the fruits of the Holy Spirit, but right now I'm filled up with the Holy Spirit. Spiritually, I have learned how to love, to forgive. But those days before this discipleship making, I was different. But right now I can forgive, I can love each other. I can give whatever I have. I share with the friends. But those days, I could say that this thing is mine. But right now, I can share with others because of discipleship. Uh, before I was discipled, I was not uh, on intention so much of uh, making disciples. But after I went through discipleship, I discovered even if I was a preacher in the church, if I wasn't uh, uh, intending so much to make disciples, I was not up to that growth, up to that maturity. So now it has helped me to see that my intention of doing ministry is to make disciples. Yeah, I'm a bit relieved generally. Uh, that's in the first phase. Uh, because uh, in, the in the beginning, I used to be, to move longer distances. Um, I alone ministering other many churches. Being, I'm alone and, and I used to be the pastor of many churches. But because of this journey, I've, it has made me to consolidate myself and um, at least to have a race somewhere, a plan for my family, uh, better than the previous times. Because I would leave the family and uh, my main task would just looking at the, ch the churches, moving here and there. And sometimes coming back when I'm very tired. So generally it has helped me a lot and it has changed my life. I feel relieved a bit. In fact, I, I can now disciple some disciple because I before I, I would not even disciple. I was even fearing to stand and even to discuss the problems which I have to share with people. But right now I can also share my struggles and with some people also. I can also tell people who I am, but before I could not even tell someone what I, I am also struggling. But I thought even in, when you become a Christian, you could not be having other problems. But right now I can also know that 
struggle is this usual as a Christian. You also have to struggle and you, you are continuing with the faith like that. Nowadays I can forgive. I have love for others. Mm, I can teach others the word of God. We share normally like me. I share with them. At my place, I can even go to their homes. Then I share with them the word of God, just like that. I'm now for, uh, doing uh, things in Christ-like way. And what do I mean by that? I'm making sure that in every kind of leadership, in every kind of preaching and guiding the, the church, our first goal is to say that we are making disciples. So I'm, I'm no longer just preaching, but I'm doing each and everything to say that people learn how to make disciples. And not only me to make disciples, but I help them to also make disciples. And most especially when I looked at free, steps to freedom, ha, it has really changed me. All the things I denounced, all the things which on me, unforgiveness, I had no, I had, I had a, a heart which was very hard. I could not even forgive if you annoy me. But when we went to the free, steps to freedom, right now, I'm very, very free. Very, very free. Very, very free. I used to run here and there, thinking that when I go there, I go this way, it is a good work. But that one has changed. It has helped me to know that I have to make more disciples. Then they also stand and I do the best work in God's kingdom. First and foremost, I had some challenges in my marriage. But when I joined discipleship, it has helped me to rectify some problems that I had in marriage. Like, my wife was not in peace with me when I was transferred to pastor church from a longer, longer distance. Sometimes she could make me spend a night there. Now when I come back home, she was not in peace with me. She thought maybe I had gone to sleep with other women. But when I joined the discipleship, I was advised to pastor the home church. And now I'm at home full time with my family and we are in peace. So it is one of the things that have benefited from discipleship. Before I was discipled, I was not well, well what with the, with the, with the what, with the neighbors. Sometimes they could disappoint me. When I become disappointed, I don't go to their homes, I don't talk to them. But now, even if something disappoints me, I go to them and I say, just forgive me. I know it was just Satan which was doing that. Satan wanted to separate us. But now, I'm just okay with my relatives, with my neighbors, and even my husband. We are staying well because I can forgive. Nothing will remain in my heart. It will come and just goes. The Holy Spirit convicts me, then it goes. One story, one, I have time with my family. It has given me time to sit with my, my, my family. Even the children feel me well because I always sit with them, unlike those days. Uh, number two, the wife is also happy. It's a story. It's happy, it's comfortable with me uh, because he has time to share with me and I sometimes have time, you know, to go to the garden and cultivate, unlike those days. So generally, discipleship has made me a different person in the community and even in the church. As we came to COVID, it has given me a very good impact 
because all the churches were closed, meaning that they've cut off relationship between uh, believers. Everybody was to remain in his own home. So because of this uh, discipleship, it made me remain the same because I was continuing with the same. Uh, discipling does not need a big number of people. So even if we could sit three or four, we could continue with the same. Uh, but COVID came after I had started discipling people. Now that system helped us in our church to maintain church members to remain sharing a word of God. They remained in a relationship because when they were in groups, there was no need of coming together in the church so that they could have a word of God. Wherever they were, they picked up from there. So that thing has caused a very good impact in my life and in the church. We are now continuing growing compared to other churches. So I have been uh, using life on life. I, I, I share uh, discipleship uh, programs with those four. Then those four also went on picking other groups. So we have uh, five groups. The, the first one is mine with those four. Then those four have also made other four groups. So they are also carrying on discipleship. And uh, the distribution is moving on like that. They also make others. They are also coming up with other groups that are, they are discipling. We share as a group. We share our challenges. We, we share our problems. And we pray to the problems which we have. I'm discipling my sisters by sharing the word of God, praying together, also telling them how they can change and let asking God for how they can also have the spirit of forgiving and loving others. Sometimes you can begin a group then you move on with them. They reach somewhere and then as if they are going back again. So we need prayers for them so that we can continue together in that journey. As we have been going on, there are times where we find that transformation does not take place quickly. So my prayer is, as I get in touch with the people, I pray that God will make them faithful and they will allow some transformation to take place so that they may get rid of certain cultures and then they follow the culture of Jesus Christ, though it may look hard to them. But I pray that the Spirit of God will always help them to transform to the ways of Christ. You pray for me that God may God give me strength and wisdom so that I can continue to encourage others so that they can focus on Jesus Christ. That is my prayer request. You pray for my church so that people who are there all grow spiritually, mature like I'm seeing. Because if we all grow spiritually mature, we shall not be running out for from church to church like other people are doing. Because people are after getting miracles. If they hear that there is an apostle somewhere praying for people, raising up, chasing demons, you find all members running away from the church going. But if we could continue with the discipleship with these people and they grow maturely, we shall have a stronger church. Oh, oh, oh.